Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Danielle. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, and on this channel, okay, we use smarts and logical decision making to create the lives that we want, the lives that we desire, all of that good stuff. You will find on this channel all types of lifestyle videos, but mostly things that can help us create better lives. If you already feel in your spirit that you're gonna like this video go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already hit the notification bell so that you'll know every time I upload a new video also follow me on Instagram that's where the party is that is what I enjoy doing I love Instagram I'm not on Facebook I'm not on Twitter anymore follow me on Instagram so today I want to talk about the things that can kill your confidence okay listen confidence is probably one of the best character traits that we can have and confidence really allows us to be the people that we want to be which will allow us to create the lives that we want to create which will allow us to have the lifestyles that we want to create and that is what I'm all about on this channel okay one of the first things that I want to mention that can kill your confidence is by not practicing self-care you know we live in a hustle bustle society we live in a first world country everything is go 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 and sometimes when we're so on the go we're so busy we begin to neglect ourselves we begin to put ourselves on the back burner if you are a millennial you probably have children if you don't have children like me you're probably working and having new hobbies and doing this and doing that and running every which away and we end up neglecting ourselves not taking care of, care of ourselves not being mindful of the things that we put in our bodies I am so guilty of that not being mindful of our skincare routines not being mindful of our self-care routines just not being mindful of having me time no matter what your circumstances are no matter how many children you have listen you have to squeeze in some me time self care is probably one of the most important things you can do because listen I am a thorough believer in the fact that if you don't take care of yourself if you're not a whole person if you're not happy you cannot make anybody else happy if you're you're not happy with your situation if you have children if you're miserable that energy is going to rub off on your household that energy is going to rub off on your children and no matter how much you think you're pouring into them the result may not be what you intended it to be so not neglecting yourself is really important to keeping confidence and just thriving in the world not being aware that you're neglected and that is self-neglect or neglect inflicted on other people and that can really kill your confidence so I'm a thorough believer in self-awareness and self-awareness is I will argue the most important thing each and every person on this planet can do in order to be happy because if you don't even know that you're neglected if you don't even know that you're missing something how can you even begin to have those needs fulfilled so being self-aware and understanding when something your heart's desire and when something that you want isn't being met when somebody isn't me meeting your needs no matter whether that is in a relationship whether that's a spouse whether that is a parent family members no matter where it is sometimes we have to remove ourselves from the situation or we have to command and or demand better the third thing I would say is neglecting yourself and not putting in effort into how you look I know we always have arguments about the inside and the outside great a lot of us have wonderful insides but we all have to be serious when we look good we feel good when we get complimented we feel good outside reinforcements and outside compliments do make us feel good if you're a person like me yes I've I'm naturally confident you know if I do say so myself I'm not confident in every single area of my life don't get me wrong but I'm 
naturally confident and even for me hearing compliments hearing people admire or appreciate something that I've done or something that I've put my effort into will always make me feel good and will always let me know that okay I know I appreciate this thing but that means somebody else appreciate it putting in an effort into how you look will make you feel good we all know this to be true we're not always gonna be in heels that doesn't mean always being in heels but just being in something that you feel good in now you can feel good in pajamas but you feeling good in pajamas is not the equivalent to you feeling good in a nice dress or a nice outfit that you picked out so just putting in effort will definitely help your confidence and it certainly won't hurt it another thing that kills confidence is not strengthening your self-worth and not strengthening your mentality your self-worth and your mentality is a direct connection to your confidence levels. We all need to be able to have a sense of self, a sense of confidence where no matter what anyone says to you, no matter how disgusting the thing is that they say to you, you know your worth so much so that it can roll right off your back. I'm not gonna say that's gonna happen every single time, but it do need to be the majority of the time because at the end of the day, the only person that is responsible for your happiness is you, I promise you. And I promise when you have honest, true confidence and happiness from within, nine times out of ten there is nothing somebody can say to you that will undo all the work that you did i promise you so you know working on strengthening your mentality working on strengthening your self-worth will definitely help your confidence level and will definitely help you be able to create the life that you want we all want to be happy we all need to be happy especially in a day and age like this honey we can't afford to not find happiness and joy in this life this is a big thing not comparing yourself to other people in the age of social media in the age of the internet comparison is the killer of all joy comparison is the killer of all confidence stop comparing yourself to other people I can't say this enough please do not compare yourself to other people especially people that you see on social media and I said this in a previous video and I'll say it again and I will probably say it again in the future there is nothing beneficial about comparing yourself to other people the lives that people portray on social media is not all real we're all guilty of it we all do it it is natural to want to put your best self forward and when you understand that you can understand that that is what every other person is doing on social media and i promise their lives isn't all gravy so when you look at somebody that is your age around you know your what you look like whatever it is please don't be bothered with comparing yourself to them because no matter where you are do the work if you spend time saying i don't have what this person have coveting what other people have that is where your energy is going and you can't be happy amongst yourself and i gotta be honest we all want to have wealth we all want to have money but as individuals we need to learn to be happy within the place that we are today and if you don't ever get another dollar in your life if this is the last breath that you take then you need to be happy with who you are today and that will raise your frequency that will raise your energy levels and I promise you will get the confidence to be able to start creating the lives that you want to be able to go after the thing that you wanted to do that you may have been afraid to do that people may have tried to fear monger you against doing never compare yourself to anybody else's situation you are unique nobody else is you nobody else can be you and I promise that is the best thing about you that ties into my next point being careful about the celebrities and these uber popular influencers I limit very 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 much so limit the amount of celebrities that I follow limit the amount of influencers I follow a lot of us can't help but to compare in some areas especially when you have certain goals 
and you have certain things you want to manifest but there is absolutely nothing we will get or win out of the negative feelings associated with comparing yourself to people that you feel have the life that you want and you covet but you don't have even if you feel like you're working to the bone to get it there's nothing good from that so we really need to get ourselves to the place where you can follow these people in a healthy way but also understand that it's a natural reaction to compare yourself and when you feel those feelings coming on hit that unfollow button and baby I promise nobody will feelings will get hurt so really limiting these all of these flashy celebrities and all of these people who make you feel like you have to be in a certain place our lives are our own we're individuals we are never going to be what someone else is whether that's comparing your relationships to somebody else's relationship your relationship should be your relationship goals whatever you desire out of a relationship should be relationship goals not Jay-Z and Beyonce not Barack and Michelle Obama nobody but yourself no one but yourself or should I say anyone but yourself I don't know and be careful about you know how you allow the celebrities the flashiness the brands the luxury lifestyles people are living how it can chip away at, at your confidence and essentially kill it spending too much time on social media seeing only the things that people want you to see and then inevitably comparing yourself to it seeing all of your shortcomings those of us who were born in the 80s born in the early 90s you know before there was so we re vividly remember times before there was social media before we had so much easy access to celebrities having so much access to seeing people's lives and seeing people's wealth and seeing inside people's homes and seeing the cars people drive and seeing people flash you know a wad of dollar bills hundred dollar bills and stuff like that just stuff that we really don't need to allow to slip into our self-conscious and to chip away at our confidence just like we just have so much access to so many things that a lot of us didn't grow up having access to so just imagine how that will have an effect an effect on the confidence of these gen z's and like these younger kids who this is the only life that they know so we really have to be careful about spending so much time in la la land that is social media with these fabricated lifestyles and these fabricated phony relationships you know these fabricated pictures these fabricated bodies just all of these things that make you feel less than dead it the last and another very very important tip that I have for you guys is stay away from low vibrational people okay listen this one can be very very difficult because a lot of people I'll give people the benefit of the doubt and say that a lot of us don't intend to be low vibrational you know and a lot of vibration a lot of things that happen to us are not necessarily reality I like to think of it as I like to think of it as more so how we perceive how things go into our brain and how we choose to process it our vantage point our perspective because two people can look at the exact same thing and get two totally different messages until we learn to really tailor and control as much as we can our subconscious you know control the part of our brains that are actually in control of us because it's it's really the things that's in the background not the foreground of our minds that control what we do as much as i love pouring into these channels and just giving advice that i believe is helpful somebody may read some of these videos that i have is low vibrational those of you who've been here for a while 
know that I'm an advocate of doing whatever you want to do and most of all doing what's best for you so if anything that I say any messages that I say in any particular video click off the video if my messages continue to rub you the wrong way if you're not in a place where my messages are vibing with you watch somebody's videos who are vibing with you you know I go through phases and you know I go through phases over periods of time where some people I can't stomach and I have to be mindful of that and I think that is so important that is one of the biggest lessons I've learned in 2020 and that I want each and every one of you to learn including me yes I want as many subscribers as I can more than I could even imagine and more than I even hoped for but at the same time I don't want to be anybody's low vibration I work on vibrating high I work on operating from a higher frequency but you know unfortunately that doesn't mesh well with everyone and so no matter what you do be careful about the people that you spend most of your time with when you sit and watch my videos you're spending time with me you know I I am who I am everything that I say everything that I do I mean a thousand percent that's why you will rarely if ever hear me apologize because I filter things that I say I believe and trust that the things that I say are truths you have to police your own vibrations okay and so though I pride myself on being high vibrational and being a truth teller and just in trying to help essentially everybody isn't going to be here for the way I deliver my message for the messages that I deliver you know for maybe you're not ready to hear the things that I'm saying maybe you are and so that doesn't mean you unsubscribe from everybody uh, but you stop watching it the algorithm algorithm will keep up with you baby I promise some people I had to you know not watch their videos as much and then when I was ready or when I was able to stomach it or just be at a place where I could be less emotional I guess you can say I can say then I was able to listen to it the people that you have around you especially physically even in a scenario like this where you are spending time with me virtually you are still feeding off of my energy and so the people that you are around the most and the people that you feed off of their energy that is what will really affect you a lot of the people that I listen to regularly especially the people that I really really vibe with I picked up some of their mannerisms almost like when I've been in relationships and picked up my significant others you know words that they say lingo that they use you know I picked up some of my friends laughs and habits I've done this from some of my maybe one or two of my favorite youtubers and it's like a crazy feeling you know we really have to be careful about the vibrations that we own and you have to recognize your own vibration because if not not every time sometimes you need the messages that are being put out that you're not ready for and so you really have to as an individual check your vibrations and make sure that you're vibrating high and listen I might do a whole separate video on this when I feel more equipped to talk about it but when I know my vibration vibrations are high when I feel good on the inside when I I don't even have to be necessarily dressed up on the outside but when I feel most confident when things are rolling off my back like water on a duck's back okay when nothing can hold me down equally when I, I feel low vibrational sometimes I go through moments where I'm grieving and I feel low vibrational you know sometimes it happens for a week on end and sometimes you never know it's gonna hit we're human and I'm not I'm not trying to say in any form or fashion that you should be perfect all the time but what I'm saying is that you do need to know yourself and know when you're vibrating low so that you can work through those emotions and work through those feelings so you can start vibrating high 
and I love the feeling I feel when I'm vibrating high I absolutely hate vibrating low and I can't wait to get out of that place and so when I'm vibrating high I just feel on top of the world my creative juices start flowing you know I get my best ideas in the middle of the night or early early in the morning when I'm half sleep you know vibe just when you are in tune should I say with my higher self okay and so that's all that I have for this video listen thank you all so much for watching like comment and subscribe join the conversation down below please let me know you know things that you do to you know keep your confidence up things that you recognize was going on around you that would kill your confidence okay I love you all so much thank you to all my supporters everybody who like my videos everybody who subscribed to this channel you know I have so much in store I'm changing you know the I want my channel to be high vibrational so I'm changing a lot of my content and it almost feels like I'm starting all over again but it's a necessary thing that I have to do so thank you all so much who've been sticking with me all my new followers who are enjoying my content that is more high high vibrational that's less low vibrational thank you for sticking it out with me thank you for supporting I doubled my goal for 2020 and I want to quadruple 10 times it in 2021 okay so thank you so much like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you'll know every single time that I upload follow me on Instagram y'all that's where the party is ah. and I will see y'all in the next video